Hey everybody, welcome to yoga. I brought my pineapple today because everyone is welcome. So I'm glad that you're here and we are gonna get started. You need your mat, you need a nice easy open space and that is all today. Um, shockingly, we are not going to stretch your hamstrings on your back today. We're gonna to do that standing and kneeling with uh, some pyramids today. So we'll still get your hammy stretches in but we're just gonna deviate a little bit from the standard, the standard plan, right? It's all good, I promise. So easy open space, lifted nice and tall, taking a moment just to come inward and let everything around you and everything bumping around in that brain of yours, let it go so that you can focus on you for our time together. Here we are, lifted tall, finding that focus and breathing. Deep breath in and out. Hanging on to that breath and that focus. Let's take your right ear to your right shoulder. Lengthen out through the left side of the neck. And then up and over to the other side. And up, take your chin, point it up to the sky. And lower that chin right on down to the chest. Good, go ahead and just gently now turn that head from side to side. So we are lengthening out through the back of the neck with just that nice, easy half roll here. Good, come on up to the top, fabulous. Take those arms out to the side, lift tall, my new favorite exercise, yes. Bend the elbows, bring those guys down into a W, squeeze those shoulder blades back behind you. Your chest is open here. And let's do that again, reach up, extend and lift. This time as you find that W, pull that chin back into that little chin tuck. All right, elbows are down. Let's do that one more time. We'll reach up, lift and extend. And exhale into the W, find that chin tuck. Everything is open, open, open. And lovely. Reach out, relax that chin, and then float your hands right here behind your head. I'm gonna go ahead and open up here into those obliques a little. So dip over to the right. fantastic dip yourself over to the left so we get a nice stretch into those obliques good and one more time first side dip it over and dip it over Beautiful, back to the center, take those elbows, squeeze those guys back one more time, open up that chest. Really lifted long here and relax. Bring those arms down, wiggle everything out. Fabulous. Take those feet, and let's go ahead and bring those guys together here right in front of you. I'm gonna maybe park your hands on your shins, on your ankles, whatever you'd like, and let's go ahead and roll around into a couple of trunk rotations. Just here in this nice, easy, open position. Good, roll yourself around in the opposite direction. Up we go to the top, nice and tall. Lovely openness into those obliques, but your posture is perfect. Good, 
draw those knees together. And then from here, let's go ahead and rotate to the right. So a little spinal twist to the right, maybe bring that left elbow to the outside of that right thigh as we give it a little twist. Yes, I see you. Good, good. And then we're gonna come on around the other side, give it a rotation. and then back to the center. So let's open up your hips. We're gonna park your hands on the mat and let's just flop those knees here side to side. Keep the knees together as we flop them over. So just give it a little dip, rolling those knees closer to the floor, as close as you can, right? Feel that into my obliques just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to come on up to the top. Go ahead and now duck walk your feet out nice and wide, and it'll be the same thing. So a little windshield wiper of the hips. And this time, you can feel that a little bit differently. Yes? Maybe into those hip flexors, not so much into the hips and obliques. Okay. Go ahead and duck walk those feet back in closer towards each other a little bit of space between them we're just going to press up and to crab that's all left into crab nice and strong and down we go hips to the mat we're going to reach down reach those hands here underneath those legs pick up those feet and find your balancing lotus maybe you can close your eyes As you can, reach down, grab your heels, grab your calves, find your balancing bear pose. And release. Good. Feet to the mat. Lift tall, check in with that posture. And excellent. We're gonna find your fire log pose. So I'm gonna stack my right leg here on top of the left. If you need to modify, please, please do. Find that fire log pose or your modification. Walk your hands forward and drop your nose closer to that floor. Walking yourself in and up to the top, roll up tall, rotate to the right, both shoulders are pulled back, open up that chest, look up to the sky. And then come on around to the front, untangle. We're gonna go ahead and swap out those legs, so as best you can. Fire log, I've got my left leg on top. You can bring it on around at the front. Lift up tall, hands forward, walk it out, drop it down. In and up to the top, nice and tall, and we've got that rotation. So rotate left, 
Lift tall, point your chest and your shoulders in the direction of that left knee, open up that chest and look up. Beautiful. Right on back to the center. Bring those hands behind you. Interlace those fingers. Open up that chest. Look up, lift up. Take a breath. And release it. Nice. Bring those hands back down to those knees. Wiggle everything out. And then we're going to go ahead and come down onto your back. And so we'll just do a little bit of bridge work down there. So over oh, really. And come on down to that mat. Go ahead and park those feet on the floor, hands on that mat, and then we're just gonna go ahead and then press up into bridge. Squeeze up those glutes, lifting up, stretching into those hip flexors. Up, up, up. Hug those knees into your chest. Hug them in. Feel that mid-back press down to the floor. And how about a little side-to-side -side rock here? Good, good. Settle everything up. Let's go ahead and park both feet on that mat. And we're going to flop both knees out and open to the side. So your heels are, they're snugged up close to your body here, but let's just open here into this position. Breathe for a breath or two, soften your shoulders. Good, now let's go ahead and just press those feet forward a bit. And let's notice what that does to those hips. So as you push those heels forward out in front of you, are your hips a little bit more open? Can they open a little bit more? Be a little bit more loose? You can even experiment as you get down here. You can maybe press those heels a little bit further forward or draw them in. Just be comfortable here, wiggle out as you need to. And let's just notice those hips. Fantastic. Draw those knees in, hug that right knee into the body, stretch that left leg down and out along the mat, and flex both feet, finding that nice upanasana. And then we'll just swap out sides, hug that left leg into the body, push the right leg down and out along your mat. There's our upanasana. Good job. Relax those feet, wiggle out those ankles, and let's go ahead here, and then scoop your hands down and around behind the thigh, and rock up to the top. Beautiful. Flip right on over to hands and knees. There we are. So our ears are lifted, our bellies are pulled in to support that back. We're still thinking about those hips today. So let's take that right leg, and we're just gonna make some circles forward with that right knee. So inhale, as we just circle that right leg forward, bringing it up and around. Inhale and exhale. Take a couple of these. Go ahead and reverse it.
Good. Once that hip is nice and loose, let's go ahead and float that right leg back. Extend that left arm forward into tiger, lengthen and reach. Left hand to the mat. Take that right knee, cross it over onto the other side of that left knee. So from here, we're gonna walk ourselves around into the extra puppy. So walk your hands over to the right, come on around, look back at those feet. And we'll go ahead and walk on around through the center to the other side. Go ahead and walk around to that first side as much of an extra puppy as you would like and maybe you can drop to your elbows and up let's try the elbows on the other side so walk it on over and drop down. Excellent. Come on around, back to the center, untangle those legs, and let's just sit back in Velasana for a moment. And then up we go. Good. So let's try that left side now. Take that left hip, circle it forward. Reverse. Fantastic. Left leg back, right arm forward. Find that nice balanced tiger pose. Close your eyes if you wish. Right hand down, left knee, cross it over to the other side of that right knee. And then once you're there, we're gonna walk ourselves on around into the extra puppy. So start by walking left. Walking to the right. Let's do the same thing. And if you'd like, come to your elbows this time. drop it down. Good, good. Untangle. Bring yourself back to the center. There we are. And then maybe one more time. Back we go. Stretch it out. Velocina. we go. 
Once you're at hands and knees, let's go ahead and bring the chin to the chest. Slide forward under your tummy. Curl right on up into Cobra. Press those hands forward a little bit, make up a little bit of room. Tight derriere, space between the feet. Lift up into Sphinx. And back we go to that mat. I'm gonna bring my legs back together here. I'm gonna bend that right knee, reach back with your right hand, pull that right heel to your glute, extend that left arm forward out in front of you. So just hang out here. If you're feeling a little fancy today, reach that left hand back and use both hands to grab that foot. Either way, rest here. Can you use a band or a towel? Of course you can. Let's go ahead and lift right on up into that half bow pose. And then we'll release it down. Good. Reach out that right leg. Left knee bends. Left hand grabs it. Right arm reaches forward. Or both hands come back. Wherever you are, relax and breathe. Lifting up, half bow, or to down your asana. Rest it down, hands up here underneath the shoulders one more time. Give it a lovely stretch in the asana. Fantastic. We're going to go ahead and come on up to hands and knees and we're going to get those hammy stretches in. So first thing that we're going to do is this nice little series and we're going to stay on our knee. We're going to work our way from a little monkey pose back into kneeling pyramid. And then the second time we do it, we're going to find warrior and full pyramid, but you can always stick with this variation, this, uh, this version that's closer to the floor if you prefer for both. But here, let's take that right foot forward between those hands. Maybe we'll wiggle it forward just a little bit. And we're just gonna go ahead and inhale. Lift up into monkey pose, shoulders down, chest is open, stretching into that left hip flexor. Exhale, float your hands to the mat, press back, roll the right toes off the floor, drop your nose to your shin. Fantastic. Inhale and lift. Exhale and press. Take a couple of these. When you are next in that pyramid position, let's go ahead and just those toes flop a little closer here towards the floor. We're gonna take both hands over to the outside of that right foot. And then we're just gonna try to press that left hip away from you a little bit. Press into it here. And then we're gonna take those hands 
to the inside. And same thing, try to press that right hip in the opposite direction of the hands. And come on around here to the center. Second round, same thing. If you can, press up, lifting that left knee off the floor. Same thing, only warrior and pyramid. So if you're weak, inhale. To lift. Exhale to press into pyramid. Continue to breathe. Loading that right foot to the floor into pyramid. Let's go ahead and bring both hands to the outside of that right foot. Push that left hip away from your hands. And then walk those hands to the inside. And again, push that hip away. Come on around to the center, drop that left knee to the mat, release those toes, step your right knee underneath you, and from here, we'll give it a cat stretch. Good. Flatten it out, neutral spine, wiggle everything out, and let's try all of that with the left foot forward. So up it goes, wiggle it out a little bit, and let's just begin, breathe and move. Good, and release, letting that left foot come on down to the floor as you can, hanging out here, bringing both hands to the outside of that left foot over there on the left, and push those hips away from the hands. Come on around, bring those hands to the inside, and then again, push those hips away from those hands. And excellent. Come on around, sink into that left knee. Tuck up those right toes if you can. Find your runner's lunge. If you'd rather do this on your knees, you stay right where you were before. Same thing. Inhale. And exhale.
letting that left foot come on down, both hands to the outside of that left foot. Push your hips away from your hands. And then step those hands to the inside of that foot. Same thing, hips press away. Good. Come on around, center it up, step yourself back. Down dog. There we go. There's our down dog. Derriers are lifted, heels are reaching for that mat. Bending both knees, pushing your derriere up to the sky. And releasing, walking those feet in, sliding your hands up onto your shins, sun breath, inhale halfway up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, halfway down. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Fabulous, bend the knees, scoop, round and roll to the top. Head comes up last, shoulders roll up and back. You are lifted up here, super tall, super long. From here, let's float the arms up, inhale, reach. Bring those hands to your heart at the namaste. Arms pressed together, ears are lifted. Take a breath or two. Good. Open your eyes. Let's go ahead and pick up a foot. Cross it over that extended leg, and let's just have a seat right on down into Pigeon. Good, good. Gonna reach your hands and those toes to the floor, ground everything, reverse the swan dive. down to the heart. Namaste with your hands. And then across. Standing tall, other side, cross it over. Have a seat into pigeon. and toes, release to that mat, ground everything before you reverse the swan dive. Lift up those heels, come on down the rest of the way. And as you can, how about we just park your elbows on your knees, close your eyes, and balance. Hands to the mat. So we can just have a seat on the hips. And then we're just gonna slide down to the mat, roll it down, rock and roll on that lower back. And we'll give it one more spinal twist today. So let's go ahead and drop that left foot to the floor. Park your right knee 
on top of the left, and then both knees flop right. And both knees flop left. Fantastic. Come on back to the center. Untangle those legs. Stretch those legs down and out along your mat. Bring maybe both arms here down beside you and go ahead and snuggle in to your comfy space for our remaining time. So wherever you are in that space, nice and cozy, eyes closed, let's just breathe. Take this time to melt down into your mat and just be. There's no tension anywhere in the body. If anything is still feeling tight today, let us just exhale it. So take that breath in. And exhale and sink everything down into your mat. Let go. And just breathe. In and out with that breathing rhythm. And then from that breath, let's just come a little bit further inward to the mind. Find that gentle, soft space where you're always safe and serene. Let's just hover in that space before sleep and enjoy a few moments of quiet. And slowly and carefully, let's bring your focus back into your space and back into your breath. Deep breath in, full breath out. Deep breath in, full breath out. Moving that breath through the body. Maybe wiggle those fingers and toes around a little. Maybe give yourself a little stretch or a hug. Give them a little roll over onto your side. OK, 
can hang out here or just press up into a seated position. We're just gonna come inward for our final moment of quiet. Loka, Samasta, Sukino, Bhavantu. May the entire universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light. Shanti means peace. Om Shanti to you. And thank you for joining me today. Om Shanti. Namaste. Fabulous as always, guys. Until I see you again soon, be good to yourselves, be kind to yourselves, hydrate, get your vitamin D, and of course, go wash your paws. Namaste. Thanks guys for yoga-ing with me today. Remember, everyone is welcome as long as you go wash your paws afterwards. Take care, bye-bye.